Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create your own custom service in your custom model. Okay, so we already, uh, we will be using a lot of services like current user, root match, something, something like that. No, so now we are going to create your own custom services in your custom uh, module. So custom services, you how to use services when you have a utility function like that. So uh, when you are using same functionality in multiple places in uh, your module, so you can create that as a service and you can just call the function whenever you want. Okay. So uh, in the uh, module file, I just created only the info file. So I'm going to create another file called custom underscore service dot services dot YML file. So in this file, I am going to initialize my service. So uh, this is the code to initialize my service. So here I am using current user service as an argument. So you can use any argument here. If you want to add request stack service, you can use here or any configuration management config dot factory you have to include. So whatever service you want, you can include it here. I am using here current, uh, current user service as a argument for my service. Okay. You can add the end number by adding comma here. Okay. So once you added the services, you have to create a file for this. So here I have mentioned my service name and then class in which class it should get point. Okay, this is the custom service. So you have to create a folder that is SRC. Inside that you have to create a file dot PHP. So in this PHP file, you are going to include the service. Okay, just copy that and paste it there. So here I have defined a function called text. And then, uh, as I already said, I am passing current user as an argument, right? So I have to save this argument somewhere in my class. So I am initializing that variable in a constructor and I am saving that in a user variable here. Okay. So whatever argument you are passing in your service.yml, that will be a passed to your constructor. If you are passing one more, you have to just add comma and you have to define a variable here. So here I am uh, getting a user object and uh, assigning that variable to the user here, okay? So here I just initialized a variable uh, that is from which uh, interface I just mentioned the class names. So since I'm using account interface uh, here, I just included that namespace alone, okay? If you are not using any argument, this is not required. You can just only define a function that is enough for your service dot OML type. Okay, so here, you know, no need to mention something like you are extending something. Okay, so here, this is bad enough to initialize your services. Once that is done, here you can see we uh, initialize services in your service.yml file with the argument. And we created a file and in this file, I just created only a function called text. Okay, so now we are going to use these services in your model. Okay, so uh, I'm going to create a block now, block plugin. So inside that block, so in this block, I'm going to create a new file. So, that is custom block. So create a file with custom block dot php. So here I'm testing the code. So I will explain what is happening here. So I already created uh, how to create a custom block plugin in another video. So here I'm just going to explain overall explanation of service, what I'm doing, okay? So here I'm just using a namespace and whenever you're creating a block, you have to extend this block block based class. And here I'm going to use a service. If you want to use service in your block file, you have to implement the Container Factory Plugin Interface. If you are not implementing this, it will not work. It will throw the error. And then uh, I am adding one more dependency injection that is a container interface, which I will be using in my argument of my create function. Okay, here you can see. And then uh, next one is I am going to use my custom service. So I, I just added it. Here, what I am doing, I am... Uh, just initialized my uh, custom block plugin with the ID and then label admin label. And here you can see I initialized the class block base. So as I already mentioned, if you're using a container in your uh, block or any file, it can be in a custom form, config form, anywhere you have to implement this 
interface. So here uh, you have to pass some basic argument to your base class. So block base, you have to pass some arguments. So these are the default arguments which we'll be getting. And I am passing those. And in extra, I am passing my custom service. Okay. So all this will get passed from the create function. So from here only the object will be passed to the constructor. So by default, create will have all these arguments. So a container configuration, plugin ID, plugin definition, the first four arguments. After that, if you are passing anything extra, you have to add it in the uh, return statement. So return new static, static represents the same class. So new static and we are initializing an object with this argument. So from here, this will get called and here I am passing my custom service. This name is defined in my custom service.yml file. So I am calling that object and I am initializing here. Okay. So I am saving that service object in my service path. Okay. So here that will be in the if the argument and I am saving this variable. Okay. So that's it. So here I just defined what are the parameters I am passing and what are the arguments we are finding here. Okay. So once that is done, you have to create a build function in your custom block to render something in your website. So here, what I have done, I just initialized the build. In this, I am just calling a service and then calling the function of text. So this will call to the function text, which we defined here. And then it will print whatever we are defining in the text and it will return it here. Okay. So here I'm just mentioning username and then displaying the user name. Okay. Display it. So I saved it. Now go to your extent and install that module custom service. So scroll down, enable custom service. So enable this module, click and install. So once the module is enabled, now you have to go to block layout and assign that block somewhere in your website. So you can assign somewhere. So that is custom. Plugin block, this is what we created. Just click place and then save it. Now go to your home. So you can see our block is getting rendered and the text is from your text service function. So text function from your custom service display name with the username confirmation. Okay. So this is how you have to create your own service and use it in your uh, plugins. Okay. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.